Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming this video for you today. I teased over on my Instagram that I was going to be doing this video and I'm filming on a brand new camera which I'm so excited about. If I keep looking up it's because I have finally got a brand new camera. I am so excited um, but it means I can also see myself and that's very very vain of me um, but I'm going to look at you. Um, but yeah, welcome back to my channel. I've missed you guys so so much. I'm so excited for the reboot is it called reboot, re relaunch <laughs> of my channel? Um, I should probably put that on silent. Not not a good start. Yeah, I'm so excited for the relaunch of my channel, and I'm so glad that 17.8 of you stayed. Like that's crazy. Nearly on 18k. And thank you so much for all the love. And yeah, let's get into the video. This video is kindly sponsored by the Ultimate Butternut Squash Peeler. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out all about that. So today I thought it would be quite a fun idea because I really need to do something to my hair. My hair? My hair. Today I thought it would be a really cute idea to do a little hair tutorial slash Q&A. So I went over on my Instagram and asked you guys to send me some questions or things you want to say and I'll just read them out and answer them whilst giving you guys a tutorial. This tutorial came because I've been doing my hair on my Instagram stories. My Instagram is linked down below by the way. And a few of you girls popped up saying how do I do these like big bouncy curls? How do I use my rollers? Um, do I add heat? Do I not? So I'm here to show you how I do it basically and it's so quick and easy um, but I'm going to be answering questions at the same time. So the look I am doing today are my big bouncy blow dry looking curls and when I tell you now it's so easy, it's a bit harder for me because I have extensions in so it takes a little bit longer than it does with natural hair but if you've got long beautiful natural hair this will be a lot easier than with extensions. So I'm going to start off by sectioning my hair and putting on some heat spray. So I've just sectioned my hair and put some heat defense spray on. The heat spray that I use is this VO5 heat protect spray. Um, I will link everything I use below. I will link my rollers, the spray, the curlers, the straighteners, everything I can find will be linked below. Um, but I have this beautiful bun which I think suits me very, very well. But yeah, just sprayed this, just a quick light spray all over and I do that for every section of hair. Um, I do sometimes forget but when I remember, I use it. I'm so paranoid because I've gone back blonde. I'm so paranoid of my hair going like an orangey colour because if you use too much heat obviously it makes your hair go like dull and orange. So I uh, yeah, I've been using that stuff like crazy when I remember. <laughs> so the rollers I use, they are going to be linked down below but I use these. So there's one big one and one medium and they came with two small as well but I don't use the small ones just because I don't want that tight of a curl. But for now we're going to be going just with the big hot pink ones. Um, and they also come with, which I didn't even realise but I'm so happy, these, there's hair on them, <laughs> oh my god, but they come with these little clippy things which I'm not going to lie, if you have nano bonds in like I do or tapes, they do pull on them a little bit, um, but if you have your own hair, like not enough to pull them out, they've not ruined my hair, um, but yeah they do, because they're metal, they do tug a little bit, so as long as you get the positioning right and you're not like scraping out your hair, these are actually quite good, but I might invest in some rubber ones because the metal is a little bit little bit harsh so yeah what I do is I get my so these are GHD curlers GHD curve curlers I will link these below as well I'm obsessed with this thing it literally heats up so this is my sister's but I've I've kind of nicked it um oh, I keep looking at myself hi guys um this is my sister's but I have I have nicked it and um <laughs> they're just amazing they heat up in about 10 seconds and they just give me the best curl I think because it's all one shape so you know how most curlers kind of go from thick to thin and it gives you that weird spiral Unless that's the look you're going for, I kind of just don't like that spiral look. So I love this, the fact that it's all just one, like, width. <laughs> um, but yeah, I literally, so I always get this thing at the bottom. And then I will tuck my hair under and just wrap it round. Like so. And I leave, I don't go all the way to the top. Just because I feel like with big, bouncy, blow-dry looking curls, you don't want them all the way at the top. Because it is kind of just meant to go down and spring. Um, you'll see what I mean. But I do about half and half and then... Yeah, I will do this to this side and to that side. Okay, so I've just taken the curler off this side and then obviously it leaves you with just a very nice normal curl. But we want this to be big, bouncy and we don't want it to drop out. I take all the hair, literally just in my hand, like so. And then I get the clips that came with the rollers. So you can kind of move it around a little bit. And I just clip it in place. It's simple as, so look, like that. But like, it's so easy. <laughs> you literally scrunch it in your hand, clip both sides. I use two clips because I just feel like that 
secures it enough and then I will leave it there until it's cooled down. It looks like that and the thing is as well, if you need to go to the shops with it or something, I don't think it looks too bad. I could go to the shop like this. But let me do the other side and then we'll get on with a few of the questions that you guys have asked. Bun at the top of my head is so like slowly slipping backwards. It's fun with freshly washed hair. <laughs> Looking good. Right, look at my bun. <laughs> Let's get into some of the questions now because I asked, I think about two hours ago, something like on my story just saying, give me some random questions. You've got two hours. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I think, I don't know if this is going to be more like spilling the tea or whatever because I've got a lot of questions on here. Okay, so one of the questions is, who is the rudest celebrity you've ever met? Ooh. The rudest celebrity? I can't think of like a rude celebrity but I can think of like some rude TikTokers or like influencers that I've met. Obviously I'm not going to name them by name but um, <laughs> some people that you're like hi and they're like hey. And you think oh go away like <laughs> I'm trying to be nice here leave me alone. But yeah now I can't think of any like because all like YouTubers or like footballers, rappers, whatever I've all met have actually genuinely been so nice and so welcoming. Um, but no, I think a few rude TikTokers, is that going to get me in trouble? Like, nobody that I, like, I'm friends with, just people, like, that I've met and I thought... Maybe it's just because we don't support each other online, I generally don't know. There's your answer, no rude celebrities, but a few rude ticky tockers. <laughs> What's your favourite chocolate bar? I know, weird question. Do you know what, I really like an Aero Mint, Aero? Or Aero Mint? Is that how you say it? Aero. Aero. Them ones. You know, that the bubbly ones. I really like them. <laughs> I think I quite like the mint, though. I think that's the reason. One just says, you look like my ex-girlfriend. Can I send you a picture of her? If you want to. <laughs> what is the biggest goal you want to achieve so you can look back and think, I did it? So, um, one of the goals that I want to achieve is actually being set in place. I can't say anything, which I know, I'm so sorry, it's such an, like, an annoying YouTuber influencer thing to say. Oh, I've got something coming up, I can't tell you. Most annoying thing ever. I wish I could just tell you right now. Um, but, yes, 2022, a lot is being put in place. I, yeah, I'm just excited and keep your eyes peeled if you want to want to know more <laughs> i wish i could just tell you now but i get in so much trouble okay so I keep going on my phone this is the problem now that i've got an actual camera i can just go on my phone and then i'm like oh yeah i'm 25 minutes into recording great <laughs> so i'm gonna do the next section of my hair so i do this in three sections sometimes two if i kind of want bigger curls but i think i want uh, like a few different ones this time so i'm gonna take the next one down I look like Hagrid. So the way I do this, it's kind of in three sections. So it is still two, but these sides go into three. I look mental right now. <laughs> okay, so what I've just done is sectioned my hair into three, left one part out and clipped the two other bits over. So I am showing a very great hairstyle right now. Then I just have put on my heat spray. That again is linked down below if you want to use the same spray that I do. I personally think it's very good and it's so cheap from Amazon. Um, and I'm just going to curl this bit like I did the other part. And again, I'm just going to do the same scrunching into a little circle method as I have before. And yeah, I'm going to do the rest of my hair um, because obviously I showed you a bit more in depth in the first ones. Um, and so I'm going to do the rest of my sections and then I'll show you how I do my fringe. And yeah, we'll do more Q&A questions in between as well. I'm back. Okay, so <laughs> all of the clips are in. There should be four, if you've got the same type of hair as me, four on either side. And they should go from long to shorter. And now let's focus on this fringe. This part is probably the easiest part. If you've got a fringe, like if you've got all your hair the same length, you could easily just put more curls in the front, but I quite like a blow dry looking fringe. Um, so what I do is, now that I've got my fringe, I'm looking a little bit like a Who from Whoville. What's that called? The Grinch. Are they called Who's? I look like a Who. And then I grab my straighteners and I'll just straighten forward. <laughs> So look, now you've got that little flick, it looks a bit strange for now. I grab my larger roller, so the large hot pink one. Ta-da! 
And then I grab the one clip I have left. I normally have two, but I'm clearly, I'm down one. And I don't know where it is. We are looking a little bit crazy with the massive roller. Um, but... This is the look, <laughs> I'm joking. This is the midway look, and then I keep these in for about 20 minutes. But overall, I'd say, when I'm not talking to the camera or trying to do a tutorial, this takes me 10, 15 minutes to do all of these, and then just leave it in for 20 whilst I do my makeup and pick an outfit and things like that. I'll normally do my hair first, then do my entire face, get ready, and then it all comes out. Let's answer some questions, because we've got nothing else to do whilst we're waiting for this to cool down if you guys don't follow me on any socials by the way they are all linked down below i've got what have i got i've got instagram snapchat twitter tiktok yeah and then obviously my youtube as well let's have some juicy ones i'm kind of in the mood for that i wish i had a glass of wine i'm drinking later though if i had wine now i wouldn't go out later i know what i'm like is there anyone in your life that you wish you were still connected to could be an old boyfriend or someone you've dated um Definitely. I think there's people that maybe I've been on a date with before or that, you know, we've been interested in each other and it's kind of just not gone anywhere. I sometimes think, oh, that would have been nice to see how that goes. No, definitely. There's, you know, there's some people I can think of that I think, oh, that could have been something nice. But that's how the world works, isn't it? So can't complain. <laughs> Someone just says, not a question, but you with blonde hair is amazing. You look like Barbie. Thank you. I feel like Barbie. Why did you go back blonde? Okay, so I remember coming out the shower with my long black hair and I looked at myself and I just thought, God, Vic, you look like the girl out the ring. And I was like, yeah, this just isn't a look anymore. I did it for eight, nine months. Maybe not, actually, I think I did it for about 10 months I had the dark hair, but it just wasn't me. I think I was blonde for eight years. Blonde is who I am. I think blonde suits me the best. So yeah, I was like, it's time to go back to my roots. Um, it took three tries to get from black to blonde, which I don't even think is that bad. I think that's quite good going, seeing as it was box dye as well, which is really, really hard to get out. Brunette slash black hair Vicky is gone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, but <laughs> she's gone. Blonde Vicky is staying. Someone said, when are you moving? I'm still saving, guys. Like, it's, it's so tough to save. Um, I've got to save about 15 to 20k, which is... A lot of money um for me for little old me it's quite a lot of money and, and yeah i'm doing it all on my own normally when you buy a house it's like with a partner or something but because it's just me it's all my money it's all of my you know i have to prove my earnings just me so the whole process is kind of long kind of difficult um and i just don't want to rent i really want my own property so i can get a dog and stuff <laughs> um but it's going fine it's just slow very very slow um, someone said how did you lose all the weight guys i'm so excited to do this video once um i've reached my goal which by the way i am so so close to i will be doing a video i just need to think about how to word it in the correct way i don't want to like offend anyone upset anyone don't want to say the wrong words um and as well because with weight loss it's so personal to you so things that you do and the way you do it other people might go well that didn't work for me and it's hard to kind of battle that because you think, well, that work did work for me. It might not work for you. The video will definitely be coming. I just have to think about how to do it in the right way. And, yeah, I can't show... I could show my results now. I'm still very, very proud of them. But it's not the results I want to put out there just yet. But not long to go. Not long at all. So, yeah, it's coming. I will show you all my tips. And the thing is, well, I've done it in such a healthy way that I'm okay doing it, like, telling you guys how I did it. I'm not promoting anything unhealthy, anything bad. I did it in a very natural, healthy, correct way. It's taken me six, six, five, six months, four, five months. I'm excited for you guys to see, um, to see that video. But I can't promise when it's coming because I don't know how long it will take to get to my own result. Name the last famous person you dated. <laughs> you guys just want the tea. This is meant to be, like, a nice chit-chat. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, that's not happening, I'm afraid, I'm so sorry. I think the word is name dropping, which I'm not about to do. Someone said, when are you going on Love Island? Guys, when Love Island want me, I'll go. <laughs> I'd love to go on that show, I think I'd, I think I'd be quite good on it. Yeah, you never know, who knows? It's quite a big show to go on, so I think it would take a lot of like, I'd have to really think about it and really think about my options and... All of that, but never say never. If Love Island want me, I am there. <laughs> Someone said, do you count yourself as an official TikToker? Um, do you know what? Yeah. 
I think um, because TikTok is my biggest platform, I think it's 130k. It overtook my Instagram, but it's difficult because I feel like Instagram, because it's so hard to grow on Instagram and it's a lot easier on TikTok, I don't know which one I see myself as more. Am I an influencer or a TikToker? Both, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I guess I do. I know, I'm, like, I'm quite good friends with a lot of people in the community, which, you know, is lovely. They're such amazing people. Um, so yeah, maybe. Am I an official TikToker? Who knows? I have sat here for about 20 minutes now. I've just been watching some YouTube, chatting to you guys. And they are all cooled down. And yeah, they are ready. Okay, so let's get these out. So once she starts taking the clips out, they should be all springy. So this is what your hair should look like when you first take them out. They literally just look like springs like <laughs> and then the roller when it comes out i will show you now <laughs> should just give you a really nice little flick and then so i have left my straighteners on because sometimes your hair does need a little bit of tweaking i then get my this is the hair london um what are they called they're called tangle teaser that's it i always use a tangle teaser um, just because I feel like it brushes them out nicer and it doesn't tuck on your hair too much with the extensions. So I literally then just brush them all out. This is my favourite part. This is when they go all poofy. And there you go. It's literally that easy. <laughs> I mean... It's literally that easy. And yeah, you have soft looking, blow dry, bouncy curls. Oh, breaking everything. So yeah, princess hair. I just absolutely love it. Look at that. Still springy. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm just cutting in to talk about our sponsor for this video, which is the Ultimate Butternut Squash Peeler. If you know me, I'm hopeless at cooking or anything to do with the kitchen. I don't know how to use anything, I don't know how to make anything, but I do actually know how to use this, which is a miracle. So this can peel any butternut squash. It's got a stainless steel blade and it's got a non-slip grip as well. What's great about the peeler is it is perfect for people with arthritic hands. So if you know someone in your family who has arthritis, struggles in the kitchen or struggles just with household appliances, kitchen appliances, it's so easy to use. So if you know anyone who struggles in the kitchen with appliances, cooking, anything, this is perfect. As you guys all know, which I mentioned earlier in the video, I am on a weight loss journey, um, which means a lot of things like chips are being replaced with things like butternut squash, which means things like this at the moment for me come in very, very handy. I replace all my chips with butternut squash. I even put it in my mash so it's not all potato. So I've actually been using this a lot and I can tell you now, it's dead easy. If I can do it, anyone bloody can. The great thing about this as well is it's literally just one button. It's not plugged in at the moment, but you plug it in, press the button, and that's it. You're peeling away. Like, it's dead easy. So if you are interested in what I've shown you today, the link is below. For me, I'm saving up for my house, but this is something I will have in my kitchen 100%. Thank you so much to The Ultimate Butternut Squash Peeler for sponsoring this video. And yeah, let's get to the end of the video. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed me spilling a little bit of tea in this video as well, just to mix it up a little bit. Um, like I said, all my socials are linked down below. Please give me a follow. Say hi on any of my socials. Um, I'd really, really appreciate it. And yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you try this out. If you do try it out, please tag me on Instagram so I can see. Um, all the products I have used are listed down below, including all the tools. And yeah, enjoy your princess hair. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.